Hey everyone, while I'm finishing up some bigger projects, I thought that I'd take a couple minutes and talk about an interesting print that I've done for a coworker. So you can see here, I have the pieces open in Slicer, and it's these two pieces of a heart that would eventually be intertwined together, and this piece would then be inserted into the base. However, if you take a look at it from the side, you can see that there's no convenient flat spot that you normally see on a 3D printed part. There's no spot for it to adhere directly to the print bed. So this was the first print that I've done that required everything to be printed on support material. So none of this would actually be printed touching the print bed directly. Even if you take a look at this first part where you have the flat base, there's a part over here that touches the ground before the base does. So this is actually floating in air. So what I've had to do is I've had to go into the print settings under support material, print everything with support material, and also add a couple raft layers just to push it off of the print bed a little bit more. So if we take a look at the preview tab of Slicer, you can see that all of the green here is support material. And if we grab the layers and go back down through the layers, you can see how it just rides on top of all of that support. And even when you get to the bottom, if you notice here, once I get it up a couple layers, it starts to print at the tip of the hearts, this area over here, before it actually starts printing the base. So that's why I had to put it on the raft layers, just so that everything's off of the print bed. And then it starts printing the base, and it looks pretty cool as you watch the rest of the print progress. So I'm hoping that when I actually print this, it'll turn out pretty well. I've never printed anything completely on supports, so I'm not sure how easy the supports will be to remove or how well the print's going to actually turn out. So let me generate the G-code for this, and let me go to the printer, and let's see this thing in real life. So here we are with the print. You can see that the first few layers of support have been printed, and the very tips of the heart, as you can see at the near the bottom of the screen, those are starting to print as well, while the rest of the supports are just being built up to support the rest of those stems. So when I first started this print, I wasn't sure exactly what to expect. I never printed anything that required this much support, and I haven't printed anything that required rafts in order to give that support uh, adhesion to the print bed. But as you can see, it's turning out pretty well. And you can see here that the two tips of the heart are printing pretty well. They are remaining attached to the support material that it's being built on a lot better than I was expecting. So now we're about halfway through the prints, and you can see how those have remained attached to the support material. I wasn't sure if the material was going to peel away, and ABS has a tendency to warp as it is, but I'm not seeing any of that warping occur, which is awesome. And if we look at the side, you can see how it's kind of snaked around. So we're just going to let this uh, finish up here, and then we will come back once the print has finished. So about an hour later, here's the finished product. And you can see that it turned out beautifully. Those pieces printed on the support structure with absolutely no splitting that you may expect with some ABS prints. And even the box at the end, printed on that raft, it remained attached, there was no warping or splitting that I could tell. So, if you are ever hesitant on printing weird structures that was built on support material, I'd recommend giving it a go, because as you can see, the results can be pretty dang beautiful. And here I've taken the pieces off of the print bed, and I've started cleaning up the support material. So you can see down here at the end where I haven't removed it, it's still firmly attached to the part. However, since this is ABS, it's pretty easy to remove the support material. You can grab just a pair of pliers and just pull off the support material, and they come off in pretty large chunks. And you can see the interface where the support material actually attached to the printed parts. There's some residual uh, pieces left on that, but a quick sanding will take care of any of that residue, and it will turn out beautifully. So I'm actually really happy with the way that this print progressed. And you can see the two pieces of the hearts and the infinity sign that was also printed on support material like that. And here it is put together. You can see that the piece, I, I like that design. I think it's really cool. I think it looks pretty awesome. And it turned out pretty well. 
And finally, here's with the infinity sign added. So, if you're ever wondering how do I print this weird piece that doesn't have any flat edges, well, just print it on a raft with some support material, and you may be impressed with the results like I was. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching Hoffman Engineering.